annak a működéséről is kérlek, hogy egy pár szót, illetve mutasd be a kollégákat. Parancsoljál, Adam. Köszönöm szépen, Nóra, a meghívást is, és a lehetőséget is, hogy részt tudunk venni jelenleg a kanapé pitchen. Ami Nóra említett, engem Ubránkovics Ádámnak hívnak, és a CIG bankanya vállalatánál, az olasz intéz, a Szampóló banknál dolgozom, azon belül is az innovációs központban. Amint István remekül összefoglalta az innováció fontosságát, amely teste tölt a CIP kisvállalati szegmensében, úgy az anyavállalatnál is sok minden az innováció körül forog. Ahogy István említette, a core banking típusú innovációk, akár a viccib, akár az online személyi kölcsön, vagy a jelzálók folyamatunkat, mi az anyavállalatnál nem csak és kizárólag a szorosan klasszikus banki tevékenységekhez kapcsolódó innovációval foglalkozunk, hanem az úgynevezett non-core banking innovációval is. És ez utóbbit szeretném a kollégáimmal együtt bemutatni, valamint konkrét esettanulmányokon keresztül szerintem hasznos megérteni azt, hogy egy nagy bank, egy crowdfunding platform, na közösen hogyan tudja a helyi ökoszisztémákat, vagy akár az európai innovációs ökoszisztémákat támogatni. Itt van velünk jelenleg Luca Pagetti, az Intéz a Szampaló Innovációs Centerének igazgatója, valamint Eduardo Reggiani, a Back to Work, az egyik legsikeresebb olasz közösségi finanszírozási platformnak az üzletfejlesztésért és innovációért felelős vezetője. És én a mondó vagyok, hogy talán átválthatunk ezen a ponton angolra. Körökben ez nem okozhat senkinek sem problémát. Nagyon jó. And now we are, let me uh, switch to English to present Mr. Luca Pajapi from Intesa San Paolo Innovation Center and Eduardo Reggiani from Back to Work, one of the most successful Italian crowdfunding platform. And as we mentioned earlier, we would start with the presentation of Innovation Center and then we continue with the real case studies and the real success stories that with the collaboration into the Sample Innovation Center and with Back to Work we currently actually did and we are doing right now just to see actually all the background exciting information what we are currently have. So I'm trying to share my screen. And I'm kindly ask Mr. Luca Pregetti to have some introductory words and also start the presentation. If you hear us, Luca. Yes, can you hear me well? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, thanks for, for inviting me to this uh, interesting event. And uh, I'm very happy to uh, show you what happened uh, for the uh, equity crowdfunding platform of Back to Work with the Intesa San Paolo Innovation Center. As you know, our banking group is the bigger Italian banking group and is the third largest group by capitalization in Eurozone. So it's a big bank, but we had for a long time a very fond interest in startups, in innovation. We started our innovation activities in 2008-2007, and we set up uh, uh, the Innovation Center as uh, a group, uh, special uh, organization to follow the innovation suggestions, not only for the bank, but especially for our corporate client and uh, private investor clients, because uh, we thought that uh, we need to flourish the innovation through uh, investment and know-how about uh, the uh, so-called uh, innovation ecosystem or startup ecosystem. So we are a part of the innovation ecosystem and we do different things that sometimes are very different uh, in the same company. So for example, we have uh, in, uh, artificial intelligence labs uh, or uh, um, acceleration uh, programs uh, uh, in the country uh, and uh, out of the country, we have uh, a strong bond with the international Uh, innovation hubs uh, like Israel or Silicon Valley or other parts of the uh, world where the uh, startups and the investors uh, are joining together to develop the new uh, solution. And those solutions we in our model are mainly shown to the what we call innovation demand. That is our corporate and uh, SMEs that need to find uh, easy to uh, buy and easy to play innovation solution. So 
uh, as you can see from this graph, we uh, work uh, uh, in a different environment with different stakeholders, and this makes us as a, a sort of bridge uh, uh, between the bank and the uh, innovation ecosystem that is both local and international. In the second slide, you can see our presence in Italy. So our headquarters are set in Turin, uh, where there are a lot of uh, innovation institution, universities, and uh, large corporation. And then we spread uh, our partnerships and uh, our experience uh, in other part of the country. So we started uh, uh, Italian Lifestyle Accelerator that is based on uh, fashion and uh, tourism and uh, wine technologies. Then uh, we have set up uh, a circular economy lab in uh, Milan, in Cariplo factory. Uh, since uh, at least six years, our group is managing a circular economy solution and founding circular economy transformation for corporates. We uh, lent uh, over 6 billion uh, euro in, in uh, circular economy plafond. And um, so we set uh, in Milan a center where the company can find a solution to transfer their linear business to circular business. And that's very important in times of climate change and in times where we are in a hurry to, to change our uh, impact on, 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 uh, on the environment. Then we are looking after neuroscience through partnership with the, the University of Lucca. Uh, we look after bio-based economy. Uh, in Naples, we are starting up uh, a new accelerator with the university and other players. One of those is Novamont, that is one of the largest European player in bioplastics. So we continue and we will continue to keep the uh, link with the, the uh, stakeholder of the innovation environment that are innovation uh, incubators, uh, research centers, universities, corporates, startups, and so on. Uh, all over this, what, what is the, the blood uh, feeding all these in, uh, initiatives? It's uh, the investment side of it. So we found uh, uh, looking for a solution that can be very fit with the uh, retail investor, especially private investor need uh, is the uh, equity crowdfunding. And I remind that in, in Europe, uh, Italy was the first country to set a regulation for the equity crowdfunding in 2013. So the market is growing and after the, our friends of uh, uh, Back to Work will show you how fast is growing and how uh, is uh, uh, extending his uh, his bridge to uh, other investors, not only uh, private but in family office, but also the retail ones. So thanks for your time. Thank you very much, Luca. And I would like to actually show the main milestones of the partnership what into the sampa innovation center is currently doing with the, one of the most successful crowd platform back to work in italy as luca mentioned the importance of collaboration and also the venture capital and also the innovation ecosystem considering the last 10 years the crowdfunding industry are growing globally and also within the european union this is a quite exciting market to follow from the Intesa Sao Paulo standpoint and throughout this partnership with Back to Work allow the group to closely observe the dynamics of the equity crowdfunding market and develop back projects aimed at enriching and also completing the range of solutions available for the startups that is currently in our ecosystem. Particularly regarding the milestone, this partnership has started in 2019, second quarter, when the group venture capital firm Nevofin Venture invested in Back to Work. In that year, in order to exploit the synergies effectively, the commercial agreement was signed with private banking arm of the group, letting private customers to invest in innovative startups throughout Back to Work. And I would like to leave all the exciting details to be shared by Eduardo from Back to Work regarding the two successful crowdfunding campaign managed by Back to Work involving in the Sao Paulo private clients. But the key word here regarding this partnership to exploit the synergies, both for the ecosystem, also for the group, and also for the crowdfunding platforms. So I kindly ask Eduardo to share 
the success stories that we actually did. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So uh, I'm going to share my screen. Just one second. Okay, uh, I think you can see my, my screen right now. Uh, so uh, I'm uh, Eduardo Reggiani, I'm uh, the head of business development at Back to Work. And uh, again, thank you, Adam, and uh, thank you, Tokyo Portal, for inviting um, me to uh, present our case history. And uh, of course, if anybody has uh, questions, uh, please, um, uh, um, I'm here to answer that. As uh, um, the colleagues uh, from Intesa were saying, uh, we are back to work. We are one of the Italian leading crowd investing platform. And uh, uh, what we do is to uh, make private and professional investor invest in uh, startup scale ups and uh, Italian uh, SMEs. Since 2019, we are backed uh, by Intesa San Paolo. Uh, which is uh, uh, really important for, for us. And uh, after that, we will see why. And uh, um, what uh, Adam was saying is right. Uh, the uh, crowd investing or crowdfunding market is, uh, uh, is growing fast in Europe, is growing fast in Italy. Um, last year, there were more than 100 million invested through crowdfunding platforms in Italy. Uh, probably uh, the 2021 uh, will be uh, between uh, 150 and 200 million. So a market that is growing really fast. And that is uh, uh, really important because it's giving uh, to startups uh, the capital uh, that they are uh, in need to, uh, to grow, to continue investing on technology people and, uh, and grow. Just a couple of numbers about our activity. Um, we are focused uh, on uh, startup and scale-ups, as I was saying, from the seed stage to later stage of financing. We can say that we are working with the startups from a seed stage to pre-IPO stage. And in the last years, we had more or less 200 uh, deals, so uh, 200 start start startups that has been funded through our platform for over 60 million. So numbers that are uh, continually growing uh, and uh, uh, becoming more and more important in the Italian startup um, ecosystem. Uh, together with the bank, we uh, have developed something which is uh, uh, really interesting and uh, I think almost unique in the European uh, crowdfunding um, market. Uh, <clears throat> what we what we do uh, is uh, that we have uh, uh, built a strong synergies between the crowdfunding platform, so back to work, into the San Paolo Innovation Center, which is like the um, the part of the bank uh, working on the innovation and the private banking division of the bank, in order to offer to the private banking clients, so uh, high net worth individual wealthy client the opportunity to invest in uh, uh, scale-ups and uh, high potential uh, SMEs. We start this uh, uh, partnership uh, last year in 2020, and uh, we had already two uh, important case history that has raised over 12 million euros uh, from uh, about 340 uh, clients of, uh, of the bank. This is really interesting because uh, um, normally crowdfunding, uh, uh, if you thought about crowdfunding, you thought about small investors. Uh, in that case, uh, we built a, a tool for scale-ups in order to raise on the market uh, um, big rounds, uh, which can be uh, raised together with our tool and, uh, for example, venture capital funds or other kind of uh, investor. And that is really um, something that is really interesting for uh, um, the founder of uh, Italian scale-ups. 
just like a, a couple of words about like the two the two case history the first one that we did in 2020 which was like the pilot of this partnership was uh, Inovia Inovia is uh, um, they call themselves an enterprise factory uh, basically they uh, start from uh, um, intellectual properties uh, uh, and uh, in relationship with university in order to develop uh, a deep tech, deep deep tech company they had a really interesting growth in the past years and in 2020 thanks to this partnership in which the clients from the bank invested through our platform in the company we were able to raise uh, uh, 7.6 million euros from 2036 investors the interesting part is that this uh, uh, fundraising was part of a bigger one uh, in order to uh, bring the company to an IPO on the Italian market. So as you can see, this kind of tool uh, is useful also for uh, real scale-ups that are going to, to IPO. The second, uh, uh, the second example, the sample case history uh, was like uh, uh, 2000, uh, 21 um, case history, sorry for repetition. Uh, the company was uh, WeRoad, which is a direct to consumer company that uh, uh, organized, uh, uh, thanks to a technological platform, uh, on the road travel for small groups, um, target uh, uh, millennial and uh, generation Z. We were able to raise 4 million uh, in a also in this case in a bigger total round. And uh, um, this is uh, another uh, great example of what we can uh, do together with the bank, uh, mixing technology uh, through our platform and uh, the uh, investors from the bank. I'm gonna uh, end up with the, uh, with the process uh, uh, in order that we developed to, um, to, to fundraise for uh, for this, this target of companies. Usually we went on the market for scouting. So we select a target company which need to have uh, um, some uh, criteria. So innovation, uh, a sustainable business model, market traction, maybe uh, intellectual properties. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, uh, the high potential uh, grow, growth and uh, uh, exit opportunity for the investors. Together with the Innovation Center, we analyze the target. Uh, as soon as uh, we uh, are sure that the target is, uh, uh, is gonna be a, a, a nice uh, target, a good investment for uh, the investors, we build the operation, so we build the deal. And uh, uh, thanks to uh, the private banker network of uh, the Intesa San Paolo private banking division, we uh, go to propose uh, the uh, opportunity, the investment opportunity to the client that can subscribe directly the investment on the platform. It's six minutes, so uh, thank you very much. If you have any question, uh, I'm at your disposal. Thank you very much, Eduardo, and also for Luke. And I have actually basically one question that basically uh, what we did regarding the Intesa San Paolo private banking, and I would kindly ask Luca to share all the fees as what we received internally within the bank, what we received from the private banking regarding the success stories that Eduardo just presented. Well, uh, we actually started from uh, a need uh, from our private banking. So uh, they have a huge uh, uh, amount of clients uh, and uh, a big portfolio of investment, uh, but they were used to uh, ordinary or standard uh, investment products. But uh, uh, especially the uh, top investors, uh, uh, mainly they were also entrepreneurs or uh, uh, managers, uh, top managers in corporation, asked to invest in technology, asked to invest in innovation, and in, for the last time, asked to invest also in ESG, so social and impact uh, initiatives. And this uh, opportunity matched with the uh, market uh, offer of the uh, equity crowdfunding or investment crowdfunding platform. So we found uh, an easy to play uh, solution and uh, immediately as soon as they 
liked the, the approach, they started with the start with the first operation. So uh, Inovia, that was mentioned before by uh, Back to Work, uh, was a success uh, deal because they raised uh, over 7 billion uh, euros and uh, the current uh, uh, regulation allows up to 8 million euros. So we raised uh, mainly the maximum possible we could raise with the first uh, deal. It shows that the interest from uh, the clients, uh, uh, especially for the top clients, is now focused on technology and innovation. And uh, it's very important for us to follow this uh, need and uh, find new products uh, in the future that will fit uh, with the, the, the requirements. Last but not least, uh, one point that is interesting is that uh, the uh, tax regulation allows uh, for the investor of startups to have uh, an extra discount on, on, on the tax side uh, of it. So uh, this is another uh, reason why those kind of clients wanted to invest on high technology because they could both uh, invest on, on something that was interesting for them uh, and uh, allow them uh, savings from the tax uh, spending on a yearly basis. Thank you very much, Luca. And one last question for Eduardo, if I may. Eduardo, how do you see the situation in Italy regarding these collaborations, what we are currently have within Intesa Sao Paulo with Back to Work? They are judging absolutely positively that the Back to Work is backed by Intesa Sao Paulo. And what is the general observation regarding the last couple of years? But, thank you for the question. Um, like, since uh, Intesa entered our capital, of course, uh, we had uh, a great boost on the market on one side because uh, uh, having like the bigger Italian bank uh, as a partner is uh, um, is good comfort for the for the investors. I mean, uh, when uh, an investors look for um, new kind of investments such as uh, uh, crowdfunding uh, investment, of course, uh, if you uh, if you have like the solidity of a big banking group, uh, um, give you uh, a strong boost in um, in reputation. Uh, the other the other things that uh, we, we can see on the market is that uh, uh, in the Italian market, but I think this could be applied to many countries in uh, um, in the eurozone. Uh, um, more and more startups are uh, um, are growing, are get are, are going on the market, uh, and uh, the needs for capital is uh, is big. If we have the opportunity to work together. Uh, to um, match the demand, uh, the, the, the startups capital demand, together with the demand from investor to a new product, uh, and uh, for example, tax relief, as Luca was saying, I think that the opportunity is big, not only like on a business uh, side, uh, but has the impact that uh, we can have uh, on. Uh, on the startup ecosystem in uh, Italy, but also in other countries, because uh, I think that these uh, uh, these pictures can be applied to Italy, but also to many other countries in Europe. And I think that the opportunity is great for uh, have uh, a good business on one side, but to have another uh, on the other side to have a strong impact uh, on the on the ecosystems, on the innovation ecosystems. Fully agree, Eduardo. Thank you very much for the great response. Nora, please. Yeah. Thank you very much for, uh, for your participation and for showcasing us a great example how a big market participant can ally with a, a smaller one in order to reach out uh, uh, to the smallest ones, to the beginners, so that to make them able to access capital, which is essential uh, in the very early phase of any uh, company to to grow uh, quickly and to reach uh, the market. And I think this is the, this phenomenon, access to capital is essential for the future growth of any economy. And I'm, I really know that Italy is a great example for that. And the crowdfunding ecosystem in Italy is, is extremely vibrant and growing. And so we are, we are trying to learn as much as possible from you. So thank you very much. We will have a, a summary blog yeah, also in English, uh, and uh, 
uh, we will distribute it in our channels and we will then transmit any questions that we receive from our audience to you later on. So thank you very much for your participation in here. Köszönjük szépen István, hogy itt voltál. Back to Hungarian and back to our startups that will now pitch their, their campaign and uh, explain us why they need the crowd capital. Most akkor átváltunk a magyar nyelvvel.